We're the Lockwoods, and we've been traveling the world to experience up close and in person all the natural wonders and distinct cultures that our kids would otherwise see only in textbooks and TV. Since we've been spending so much time in the Philippines, and since we've been using Manila as a hub for a lot of our Asian travels, and since our good friends from the Mom Duty Channel have moved back here and encouraged us to be their neighbors, we've decided to set up a second home base here in BGC. Since we'll be alternating months between here and the US, we need to hunt for an apartment that's not too big, not too pricey, and not too far from our besties. So let's get started. Imitation is the greatest form of flattery, and we are copying our very best friends, the Ocampos at Mom Duty, because they just found their condo here in BGC after looking for a while. So we're gonna meet up with them and we're gonna get all the advice we can get. And we're not meeting them just anywhere. We're gonna go right back to the very first place we ever met them earlier this year, the Mine Museum. We're recreating our first date a little bit and it's just a few blocks from where both of us are staying right now. We don't know you guys. My name is Delvin, and with a Nancy. How are you, Delvin? <laughs> uh, how you doing, buddy? That was the longest hug ever, and I'm happy. Uh, my name is Melville. Starting to sweat already, dripping. Melvin's already dripping. I have like my bandana for him, so he, I can wipe him all day. That's brilliant. Yeah, you want to do. So this is where it all started, guys. Right here. It all started right here. But here we are on a brand new day and we're gonna meet up with Mom Duty, another YouTuber family from California, and they've been living here for a couple of months. We're gonna experience the Mine Museum right here. Mom Duty is Rocio, Melvin, and their two kids, Mia and Knox, and they're the same age as Colton Brooklyn, so they're getting to know each other. I feel like they're growing up together. <laughs> All right, guys, we gotta pick your brains about condo shopping here because we gotta find our place now that you have found your place. But who wants to do it over maybe some mimosas at brunch? Let mimosas for brunch? I don't know. Let's go. So freaking excited to hang out with the ABC fam this whole week. We're gonna take them to Dr. Wine. It is a little spot that's actually right under where we're staying right now. and We've heard really good things about it. This actually isn't our first time here because the very first time we were in BGC, the Ocampos took us to Dr. Wine. Repeat, history repeats itself yet again. Ah, I forgot about that. <laughs> I didn't know we'd been here. <laughs> over here, private party. What do you want to order, babe? Uh, I think I'm just gonna get the same thing the Ocampos get. Just copy everything. <laughs> so flattered. I love you guys. Why BGC? Why not other areas in Metro Manila? BGC was very family friendly. I like Philippines because it's safe and there's lots of res there people who respect people. So they respect the area and the, how clean it is in BGC. Respect the rules. Not there's not a lot of trash there. So that's a couple things I like about BGC. There's no trash. Sold. That's it. Sold. We're moving now. <laughs> Thanks, Noxie. That was a great point that Knox talked about because that's also something that we value safety first. It just feels so good here. I, I, it's very family friendly. Yeah, the walkability score here is like through the roof. Yeah. The pedestrians uh, are priority number one here. So you get that feel of safety and you also have that convenience. So when you're going, I love the fact that you can just go down and walk out out of your building and you're in literally steps away from all these restaurants like Dr. Wine. I mean, there's about 300 plus restaurants around us. Combine that with the warmness of the Filipino people. And I'm not trying to be biased here because I'm Filipino, but they are very warm and welcoming. That's what I love about that. So you combine that with this, it's, it's amazing. The warmth that you get here, the community that we've been craving for so long is so welcoming. We really don't feel complete here without the Lockwoods. <laughs> so the Lockwoods must move here. Please, come move, be our neighbors. I think we'd probably come here every day if we lived in BGC. This would 
be like our meeting, our brainstorm meeting would be at Dr. Wine. <laughs> would it be a good idea to work with a realtor or do we just like go around looking for listings on our own? Well, we recommend working with a realtor saves time, it's more convenient, and we highly recommend JR from SW Real Estate. He and his team are amazing. They have been so great at communicating with us nonstop and showing us around at all the different locations. So we are going to give you that recommendation. All right, done. Yeah, we're just going to copy their realtor then. Yes, copy, copy. <laughs> all right, I guess we're just going to toast on it. To the Phil. To the Ocampo Woods in the BGCs. Let's let the apartment shopping begin. It definitely sounds like BGC is a pretty safe neighborhood for our fam, but as non-residents of the Philippines, we still really have to think about protecting our family against the same types of risks we deal with back home. Yeah, even with the great medical facilities and doctors here, we could easily bankrupt ourselves if something went wrong and we didn't have the right medical coverage. Safety Wing's been our go-to resource for those things that seem to go wrong for us on a regular basis. Like the time I got appendicitis in the middle of Mexico and had to have emergency surgery. Or the time Cole got so sick in Vietnam that he couldn't leave the hotel for days. Or all the times Cole gets bit by reptiles and needs antibiotics. What can I say? I like adventure. Our biggest benefits with Safety Wing are the medical protections for sure. But we like that our policies also cover us against travel delays and interruptions, lost checked luggage, natural disasters, and emergency evacuation. And we love that whenever we need help, we get connected with a helpful human being in a matter of seconds. Everyone knows that travel these days carries enough risk. You're really just rolling the dice if you're not being proactive about protecting yourself and your family. Use the link in the description or just go to followevc.com slash insurance to get a quick quote from Safety Wing. Now, let's go meet our realtor. First, we need refreshments. Hey, um, folks, may I please get a uh, wintermelon lemonade me medium with um, brown sugar? May I get a wintermelon milk tea with brown, brown sugar tapioca pearls? 80% sugar level, level uh, less ice, please. Bring it, thank you. We gotta go, bring the juices with us. We'll drink on the road because we were supposed to meet our realtor in about five or 10 minutes. But luckily, everything is really close together. We're probably only a block away from where we're going and we're gonna walk from one building to another because everything is so close together and walkable here, our favorite thing to do. Since we've been traveling the world for three years officially now, and I constantly talk about how hot and humid some of the places we travel to are, I'm officially retiring that concept. You will never ever hear me say that it is hot or humid again. I went the wrong direction. Today of all days, it is so hot and humid. Can we please just get there? <laughs> I knew that was gonna be an issue. The only one that seems to be more confused about where we're going than Aaron is Google Maps. Just keeps changing the location, changing the directions. Right there it says Verve Residences Tower 2 and that is where we're supposed to be. Are you JR? Yes. Yes. Hi. I'm Froyland. JR, Hi, sir. How are you? Hello. Hi, Brooklyn and JR is the Ocampo's realtor, too. They hooked us up. All right, so we have one place to look at in here today? Uh, yes. We're going to check out the first place. We're only looking at three bedroom units. 35th floor. Ooh, 35th floor. You probably get used to it pretty fast. I love the positivity. Nice and bright hallways. And smells of fresh paint. Built in 2019, four years old. Oh, oh. I love it. You love it? I love it. Brooklyn loves yeah. it. Oh my gosh, yes, this has to be my room. Because you know why? In our, my, in, in our apartment that we have right now, yeah. I have this in my room, and I every morning, like, because I wake up super early, I had to just go out and stare at the sky while listening to music. And this would be my bathroom. So, would this one come furnished? Yes. 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 Yeah, so all the stuff here stays. Yeah. The bed there is really small. Really? Yeah, you guys can never fit on that boat together without no, it's not. Oh, no. no, it's short, so it's short. It's, it's misleading. We're off to a really good start. I love this unit. And right here is High Street. And this is the closet hallway. So there are four total. I'll get three, Phil gets one. There's just one vanity sink in here, but a walk-in shower. I'm guessing there aren't bathtubs. All right, I want to look at this kitchen real quick. Love the countertop. It's got basically everything they need, but I'm a little curious, the stove is very small for the space they allotted for it. I've become one of the counter. But I don't cook much, so I don't think it matters. I think that's pretty much par for the course. Same in the place that we're staying right now. Same with the refrigerator. But yeah, I mean, especially for the uh, Ocampo's neighbors, we are probably not gonna eat in here very often. Maybe breakfast, sometimes lunch. For the most part, we're gonna be 
eating at every restaurant in BGC. And yeah, that's true. I'm not cooking. But we're off to a very, very good start. I really like this place. It is listed for 150,000 Filipino pesos, which is approximately, I think that's about $2,500 USD per month. I like that it's plug and play. TVs, not just out here. We've got one in, the, in our bedroom. So two TVs. I mean, we really don't have to buy anything as far as furnishings. We would have to buy things like towels and linens and you know, there's still things we would need. But this isn't the most important part. Most important part is the rest of the building. Let's go check that out. Thanks a lot. Brooklyn is asking us how we rate it on different levels and so she's keeping track of the score. What does this one have, honey? 34.5. We'll have to compare that because we still have to rate the building itself, the gym and the pool. And those points are out of a, to a maximum total of 40 then, right? Because it's four of us who are voting? Yeah. Okay. Can you start carrying a bandana, baby, so you can dab my face like Rocio does for Melvin? <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to. There's no AC in the elevators. Down. It feels nicer with the breeze. Outside is cooler. We're gonna take a quick look at the clubhouse area right now called the function room. So if we wanted to throw a huge party with the Ocampos or a big meet and greet, this is where we could do it. So, or a wedding? This is a huge, huge room. There's a lot we could do in here. Like meet and greet was the first thing I thought of. There's a play area! Uh, I think this is for kids ah. smaller than you. I think, I think she's outgrown this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. All right, where's this gym? Very important. Uh-oh, we lost everybody. Also, where's Colt? Hello. This water is really cold. That's gonna be nice, especially for Phil, on a very hot day. That feels good. All right, we gotta go, though. This is the lounge area. This would be good for a meet and greet also. Okay, now this is the real pool, huh? It's shared with both towers. So we were in tower two, this is tower one. And they only have one really big pool. Right now, I am specifically focused on if there are any high places I can jump from into the water. Here's the gym. Plenty of cardio. Four treadmills, four stationary bikes, dumbbells, racks, free weights, lots of benches, functional equipment. Checks all the boxes, it'll work. It'll get the job done. Apparently there's an upper level we gotta check out. This is like an open space dance studio. You could do yoga up here or practice your TikTok dances. Like the <laughs> Whatever. I feel like I would come up here if I was alone and I would do my own little workout, my isolated workouts for my abs, stuff like that. There's a 25 degree difference, well, Fahrenheit, there's a 25 degree difference between upstairs and downstairs in here. I'm not sure what that is in Celsius. Five degrees? Seven degrees? <laughs> I worry about her and our schedule. So, what do you guys think of this building and this unit? I think this is my favorite one so far. Oh, yeah. It's also yeah. the only one. The Ocampos, here's another factor we have to consider. We want to be as close to our besties as we can. And there are going to be, without giving anything away, about two and a half to three blocks away from here. Not bad. We'll have to consider that after Brooklyn tallies up the scores between the three units we're going to see. The next building we're going to see is right next door and they have a coffee shop right at the very bottom. And this building is called the Meridian. This is a nice, cool, air-conditioned lobby. 30th floor for this one, so a little bit lower, which Aaron is probably happy about. Apparently won't work, though. It's so high. Oh, so a different layout here and it feels like it's bigger. It feels more open. All right, so what's the price on this one? This one is 140 with parking, but parking is about 5,000 per month, which we don't need. When you say 140, what does that mean? 140,000 pesos. So this one is a little less, but this is the master bedroom we're in here. And whoo, got dizzy. But this is a really pretty view. There's a lot of park area right in front of us. Can't look. And then this is the third bedroom. So probably where Brooklyn would be if we had this unit. And it looks like there's a balcony, but just windows, no access to it. How many bathrooms in this one? Since there's no there's no ensuite for this room, is it two? Two bathrooms here. There might be another one in the maid's quarters. The Yaya quarters. I like how the kitchen is open. I like this layout. Another bathroom. Yaya. Yeah, yeah. Yes, but Yaya's bathroom. So some apartments have that space. So a Yaya, which is a maid or housekeeper, 
can live in and stay there. So the next place we see, it's in the same building, right? Thank you, bud. You're welcome. Pool looks very similar to the Verve. Oh, here's the gym. I would say that the gym is very similar in, in quality and versatility to the last place, so either or. There you go. It's just got a lot of weight on it. JR, what kind of deposit do they require? It's a two, standard is two month security deposit uh -huh. that will be returned to you after the lease. And are all these prices negotiable or are they pretty set? They're actually pretty set. So we have one more. Okay, one more unit. One more. We had to come back down to the lobby because it is a different tower and a different owner of the unit. What floor is this one on? This is uh, 33. 33. Do you like high or low? High. High. Oh, yeah. it's late lunch time, so. You really feel like type on the couch. Oh, yeah. The couch is kind of, it's really comfy, but like I feel like after a while it's going to feel stiff. Yeah. Yeah. Dining table is great. This room is great. Look at the mirror. I'm taking that, by the way. If we, if we get this, I'm still oh. that. I like that this has a vanity. And a full length mirror. And a, yeah, we're missing like that where we're staying right now. And then this is the, the hall of closets here. Oh, purple. The ube closet. Now I'm hungry <laughs> for dessert. <laughs> and these lights are interesting. I like them. I think they're, they add character. So this is Colts or Brooklyn's? I don't know. This is Colts room, okay. And over here, actually all the bedrooms have this view. This is High Street, right below here. <laughs> now, our realtor was telling us that it's really pretty at night when it gets lit up. Oh, and there's the Nike store. Nice. We have a view of the 3D billboard, 4D billboard. Okay, so also three bedroom, two bathroom. Right. Not counting the Yaya quarters. That's right, which is right over this way. Past the kitchen, a lot of counter space. Again, with the ranges being much smaller than the space they fit into. Okay, so this one, this is the first I've seen a washer and a dryer. Uh, it has the Yaya bathroom, and this is the first time we've seen an actual bed or mattress in the Yaya quarters. And this unit is 150,000 pesos, right in that same range. Thank you. That's a heavy door. Thanks, Evie. Thank you. Yeah. All right, that's actually really exciting stuff. Thanks for showing us. Pleasure to meet you guys. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank you. We'll be in touch. Yeah, sure. I think there was one we clearly liked over the others, but I don't know how the timing's gonna work for us or not. So we'll talk. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye, Bye. 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 I'm gonna go from least to greatest on what our favorite apartment is. The least, it was actually a tie between the second and the third apartment. Ah. Um, both of them were 30. They were in the same building, so the gym part, I guess, was a 26.9. Okay, well, I mean, at, I think we know the winner, right? Yeah, and at number one is the first apartment, 34.5, and the building in general was 32.5. Woo! I believe it. I loved that unit. That was clearly my favorite. So that was everybody's favorite, ranked at the highest? Well, let me point something out to you. The first unit was the only one where you each had your own bathrooms. The first apartment was definitely a clear winner for me. I think that the building was newer, the unit seemed to be a lot newer and cleaner. But for better or for worse, we can't pull the trigger right now because it is mid-September and we really couldn't start a long-term lease until January at the earliest because we're finishing up this trip here in the next few weeks and then we won't be back until the end of December because We've got a really big trip throughout Africa for the safari in November. So we're very limited on being able to take advantage of having a home here, basically through the end of the year. So I think what we're gonna need to do is keep looking and seeing if it's still available when we're ready to pull the trigger and really planning around being in something for the new year. At least though we have a lay of the land and we understand the buildings. We only saw two buildings. Uh, but it gave us an idea of what we're looking for. And now when we see future units become available in those buildings, we have a better understanding of if we're gonna like them or not on paper before seeing them. He's the lizard king, finds them everywhere. Well, we really hope that you stick around with us to see what we end up in. Next time we come back, we're gonna do some more shopping and 
we're gonna be here more and more because we truly love the Philippines. We truly love BGC. And we truly love our besties that we have to live close to. Hope you liked this video. If so, give a thumbs up. Let us know in the comments which one you think is the best. And we have more episodes coming up here from Manila with some really cool adventures around town and just outside of before we head off to El Nido. So please hit the subscribe button, follow us along. You're taking us where we're supposed to go, right? Mm-hmm. It's a big migraine. Oh my gosh, it's a baby thingy. That's my chair. <laughs>